Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we will learn how to make a level diagram of a plant cell. These are the easy steps. Please follow it and it will be very easy for you to make this drawing. First of all, we need to draw a hexagon. Then draw a double boundary for making a cell wall and a plasma membrane. Now it is the time to make our first cell ornil that is called vacuum. To draw the nucleus and nucleolus, we need to make two circles side of this hexagon. To draw a endoplasmic reticulum, we just need to make this diagram by matching two parallel lines with each other to make it easy just follow these steps To draw a Golgi apparatus, we need to draw a straight line, then write C, one smaller C and one more and just opposite of the C, in opposite side we can draw the same structure. Our Golgi apparatus is now completed. It's very easy to draw 
the powerhouse of the cell which is called mitochondria. Just observe these steps and draw it. To draw the chloroplast, you need to make an oval structure. You draw six lines in the middle of it and join them together. This structure is called ameloplast and it is quite easy. These round structures are called paroxysomes. You can draw many paroxysomes wherever you see the gaps. Now this is the most important step to complete the cell diagram and you can see these small dots which are ribosomes which synthesize the protein inside the cell. To make this diagram attractive you can use the shading method which will enhance the quality of your drawing and it will be very easy for you. The cell membrane should be lighter than the cell wall. You can also shade the cell organelles of a plant cell. For example, nucleus, nucleolus, peroxisomes, mitochondria, Golgi apparatus and chloroplast. After completing our shading part, now it is time to write the names of these cell organelles. You can write it either clockwise or anticlockwise according to your drawing. In this drawing, you can see first of all we write cytoplasm, then cell wall, then cell membrane and so on.
plant cell diagram is completed now. Practice it and I hope that you are able to draw this diagram by yourself. Thank you.